The Swagger Visualization Portal provides a way for users to browse APIs and see the operation along with the associated parameters and responses for the API. Users can also modify and execute the API call to see live results of the API request. The Swagger Visualization Portal is only available for API components with REST endpoints configured and where it is deployed to an Atom with the API type set to advanced on the shared web server panel. When the authentication type is gateway, the portal is accessible through the developer portal. We'll see that in a later section of the class. But in this activity, we'll access the Swagger Visualization Portal where we can try out one of our deployed APIs. So from the platform, I'll navigate to the deployed APIs page of the API management menu. We're going to look at Bank Accounts, the API service. So I'll click View. And then here under REST, we see Access Swagger Visualization Portal. Now when I click there, I have a drop down of different users that are controlled under the shared web server settings. And I can select my default user and open. So here we are in the Swagger Visualization Portal. You can see a link to the JSON along with the base URL. If I click Authorize, you can see that uh, the username and password is already entered here. If there were no authentication set, then that authorized feature would not show. But if I look here at the get accounts, I can click try it out, enter an account ID here. This will be handled by the listener response that has the URI parameter of that account ID. So when I click Execute, here is the body of the response here under 200 code. So my account ID is a checking account, and I can see the balance in that account. Now if I scroll down to the bottom of this window, I can see the metadata. So here is the description, version, title, all of which I entered when I was configuring the API service component. Now with Atom controlled authentication, there's also a Swagger Visualization Portal link. Now if I generate this and copy it, I can paste it into a browser And I'm prompted here for the username and password on the shared web server setting. So with this, since we're using basic authentication with a username and password, a user could access the Swagger visualization portal even when not logged into the Atomsphere platform. I've entered my username and password, and when I click Authorize, I am now in the Swagger visualization portal. This video concludes now, but you can follow the steps outlined in the activity guide to complete the activity on your own.